Dread 2012, is a dark, gritty, and unapologetically violent adaptation of the famed 2000 AD comic series, completely wiping the slate clean from its 1995 predecessor. Directed by Pete Travis, this film encapsulates the true essence of Judge Dredd, an unflinching law enforcer in a dystopian future where crime is rampant and justice is delivered with extreme prejudice. Its atmosphere and tone set. In the desolate, crime-ridden Megacity One, Dredd has a haunting, bleak atmosphere. The city is a sprawling metropolis filled with filth, crime, and fear. This version of Dredd isn't colorful or hopeful. It's grim, brutal, and relentlessly oppressive. The slow-motion drug known as slow-mo is a brilliant narrative device used to visually stun the audience with beautiful yet brutal violence. The way time dilates during the action sequences is gorgeously stylized, turning gruesome moments into strikingly artful scenes. The plot and execution of the story follows Judge Dredd, Carl Urban, and rookie Judge Anderson, Olivia Thirlby, as they get trapped in a 200-story slum tower controlled by the sadistic drug lord, Mama, Lena Headey. The plot is simple, yet effective. It's a classic siege scenario, as the two judges must fight their way through hordes of criminals to bring justice. While the setup could have felt cliché, Dread stands out due to its visceral execution and unyielding tension. Every floor they climb presents new, creative challenges, and the film keeps the stakes high from start to finish. With the performance of Carl Urban's portrayal of Judge Dredd is exceptional. He never removes his helmet, a crucial element true to the comic's lore, and yet his performance is deeply engaging. Through a scowl and minimal dialogue, Urban communicates a sense of unshakable lawfulness, cynicism, and ruthless efficiency. His Dredd isn't a superhero, He's an enforcer of the law in a world where morals have decayed. Olivia Thirlby's Anderson brings a human element to the film. Her psychic abilities give a glimpse of the psychological toll this world takes on individuals, and her journey from rookie to confident judge adds depth to the film. Lena Headey's Mama is a chilling villain, understated yet menacing, making every encounter with her feel dangerous. Along with the action and visuals of the film's action sequences are intense and brutally realistic. From the first bullet fired to the final showdown, Dread offers a relentless barrage of expertly choreographed gunfights and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The slow-mo drug enhances these scenes, adding a surreal, almost hypnotic quality that juxtaposes the sheer brutality of the violence. The cinematography and use of color, especially during the slow-mo sequences, contrast sharply with the otherwise grim and dark visuals of the decaying city. Its dark theme of the film, Dreddy, doesn't concern itself with exploring deep moral questions, but rather focuses on the reality of a world where law and order are almost non-existent. It's a survival tale for both the judges and the people trapped in these megacities. The film delivers a harsh critique of a dystopian justice system showing a world so far gone that only the strictest and most merciless form of law enforcement can exist. While the flaws, if there is a flaw, it's that the film is relentlessly bleak, which could alienate some viewers looking for more depth or character development. It doesn't aim to provide emotional arcs or larger questions about society, focusing purely on the survivalist narrative. The plot, while effective, isn't groundbreaking relying heavily on its action sequences to carry the film. In conclusion and essence, Dread is a faithful, gritty adaptation of the comic character that fans had long been waiting for. It's brutally violent, visually stunning, and unflinching in its portrayal of dystopian justice. Carl Urban's performance as the faceless law enforcer is iconic, making Dread one of the best comic book adaptations for those seeking something darker and more grounded. While not for the faint-hearted, this film is a masterclass in minimalistic storytelling, proving that with the right direction and tone, even the most straightforward plots can become an intense, unforgettable experience.